Yo, what's up everyone? Patrick here, welcome back. Moving on to the next question. So we gotta solve this equation here. So we got one minus three over four times x minus one over five. That's gonna equal two over three x minus one over two. So to do this, I'm actually gonna rewrite this here first. Uh, the first step I'm gonna do in this case, now, again, there's multiple ways to solve this. The first step that I'm personally gonna do is I'm actually first going to distribute this fraction inside the bracket. So I have one minus three over four X plus um, negative negative is plus. Three over four times one over five would give us what? Three over 20 equals two over three X minus one over two, like that. And so now we just got to solve for this x, bring everything that has an x to one side, bring all the other numbers to the other, but you can work with fractions if you want. What I'm personally going to do is I'm going to get rid of the fraction. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply every expression by the lowest common denominator. And in this case, the lowest common denominator between 4, 23, and 2 is going to be 60. So I'm going to multiply this by 60, this by 60, this by 60, this by 60, and then that by 60. Now again, you don't have to do this step. You can work with the fractions. I'm personally going to go about it this way. So 60 times 1 is just 60. 3 over 4 times 60 would give us 45. And then we got the x there, right? 4 goes into 60 15 times. 15 times 3 gives us... 45, then we got the minus here. Uh, 20 goes into 60, three times times three gives us nine. And then three goes into 60, 20 times times two gives us 40. Then we got the X there, and then 60 times one half is just 30. Okay, so from here, now what we can do is solve for X. I feel like it's easier to solve for X than up here. Basically, both of these expressions are going to give you the same answer. So I'm going to bring the negative 45x over. It becomes positive. I'm going to bring this over. So I'll have 60 plus 9 plus 30. So we would end up with what? 85x here. And then over here, we would end up with 99. And so notice, divide both sides by 85, get the x by itself. 99 over 85 is your final answer. And this fraction here, it can't simplify any further.